everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some polishes from Maniology to share with you that were sent to me to swatch and share with you guys. I have both of their stocking stuffer trios. I'm going to show you how they apply on their own, how they stamp over white, and how they stamp over black, which is, of course, the ultimate test. I'm going to start off with the first trio, and the first polish in that one is Down the Chimney. This is described as a taupe stamping polish. I got it opaque in one coat on its own. It looks great over white over black it looks good it's not perfect but it doesn't look bad by any means I got it opaque in one coat over black it does slightly change color uh, but over white of course it looks fantastic it does need top coat for shine because these stamping polishes dry down very dull so you're definitely gonna want some glossy top coat to fix that and of course there's no glitter in these so they are really easy to remove the next one is morning snow which is described as a dusty blue stamping polish it's not as easily opaque in one coat as down the chimney. If I were to wear this on its own, I would actually go in with a second coat to cover up some low spots, but when it comes to stamping it over white, that's not an issue. Over black, you can definitely see uh, some transparent areas. So it's not perfect over black, but over white, like I said, it's it's gorgeous. It doesn't need top coat for shine, once again, because it does dry down dull, and it's easy to remove. And the last one in the first Stocking Stuffers trio is Sweet Berry, which is described as a dusty purple stamping polish. I got this one opaque in one coat on its own. It's not as vibrant over black, but it looks gorgeous over white. Again, it does need top coat for shine because it dries down dull and removal was easy. Now let's move into the second stocking stuffer trio. This one is Cine Blush, which is described as a blush pink stamping polish. I got it opaque in one coat on its own. It is transparent over white, but again, it looks great over white. It does need top coat for shine and removal was easy. Now let's move into the second stocking stuffer trio. This one is Cine Blush, which is described as a blush pink stamping polish. I got it opaque in one coat on its own. It is transparent over white, but again, it looks great over white. It does need top coat for shine, and removal was easy. evergreen and this is a beast to photograph it likes to play tricks on my camera so I do think that my photos show this color a bit more saturated than it actually is in real life so do keep that in mind I did my best uh, but sometimes I just I just can't get things to work right so I just wanted to throw that out there full disclosure this is another one that I got opaque on its own in one coat uh, it's not as vibrant over black but it does look great over white it does need top coat for shine and removal was easy and the last one is winter's kiss i got this one opaque in one coat on its own it looks great over black which surprised me i thought it might get lost but it didn't at least not up close and of course if it looks great over black it's gonna look great over white i i did go ahead and throw on some top coat to add some shine and removal was easy So my favorites out of all of these include Winter's Kiss. I love a good navy blue and this one's fantastic. Cine Blush, it didn't look great over black. Admittedly, it didn't, but I love the way that this looks against white. It is so beautiful. I really want to do a tone on tone at Stamping Mani with this. I've been trying to think up some ideas. I've purchased a lot of Maniology products here lately and I haven't been putting them to use, but this has been on my mind. I want to use this with maybe a rose gold or gold or something like that and just, oh, I think it's going to look so good. It's so good. I love it. It's so feminine. So feminine. So cute. My last favorite is a morning snow. I don't typically find myself into colors like this, but actually I was eyeing this before they sent me these sets. I was considering picking this one up, but I didn't. I decided to walk away from it, but it was still on my mind. And then, you know, they sent it to me and I got really excited. This is so pretty, you guys. It's so pretty. It does have that dusty 
quality to it, uh, but it's still bright. It still adds a bit of brightness, and I really, really like that about it. That is it. I will leave the links to the sets in the description box down below. If you're interested, I do have an ambassador code, so you'll save 10% on your purchase from Maniology, and I will receive 10% commission. So it works both ways. It's Jody 10 I will leave that in the description box down below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!